I'm Robin Clevett, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Maybe subscribe and like my video and possibly forward it on to anyone who you might think might need it. Now, this is a short, quick video and it's just a little tip I thought I'd share with you. I get lots of this. I've got a whole stack of timber just arrived with me. I've got to break out a whole load of joists. They're all exactly the same length. And the quickest way of doing this without setting a long chop saw table up is doing a repeat cut every time. You don't want to keep measuring everything, squaring everything off. You just want to mark it once, form a quick template and cut it. So how I've done that is I have a section of timber, which is a joist here. I've measured my overall length of my joist. Now here's where the fun begins. Let's take, for example, my saw. I'm using a saw here with the blade on this side. You can use a saw with the blade on the other side. Then I will take my speed square, any speed square, and I'll put a cut in the timber, something like this. I'll keep that speed square where it was. I'll make a line here. Now, that measurement is important to me because I can create a very quick repeat cut template. So that's 35 millimeters. That's from the edge of the blade to the side of the base where I was pushing it against that speed square. So I know my joist length. I've marked my joist length on a piece of timber here. And then what I've done is I've created a line which is 35 millimeters back. I've put on a bracket, can be any bracket, but something nice and stiff. Fix that on. Now all I've got to do to cut every joist is this. I've whacked that on the top. I've butted it up here. And then just like the speed square, I use this joist as a template and it's done, it's quick. It's real simple, just like so. And there I have my joist. I'll pop that on the next one, move this one out of the way. Pull that one up. And again. It's super quick, super satisfying. and only measuring once. Just one word of caution. My timber here has got really nice cut ends straight from the mill. Sometimes you don't get that luxury you might find they're a little bit uneven, which means you may have to square one and end up first, but I don't have that problem here. These are lovely and square, which means I can save loads of time by making this simple stopped length stop and whacking them off. So I hope you have enjoyed that little tip. I've got about another 20 to cut and then I can start putting these in, but it saves ages and it's beautifully accurate. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for joining me. Catch you again soon.